much do you know about the camels? There are three species of camels living today and most are domesticated. The one-humped dromedary, Camelus dromedarius, is found in dry regions in Africa and Asia, including the Sahara Desert and Middle East. The domestic Bactrian camel is found across Central Asia and the wild Bactrian camel is found in remote parts of Mongolia and China and is critically endangered. Domestic and wild Bactrian camels have two humps. Why do camels have humps? Camel's humps are often associated with these animals' ability to go for long periods without taking a drink. But they don't store water in them. Instead, their humps are made of fat. Camels are generally found in areas with limited water and vegetation. Their fat store can be converted to energy when they don't have access to the resources they need to survive. To last for prolonged periods in dry areas, Camels have also adapted to minimize the amount of water they lose. For example, camels have thick, syrupy urine and their feces are so dry that they can be used as fire starters. A camel can also use its nose as a dehumidifier. When we breathe, the air we exhale is at body temperature and we lose water in it as vapor. But when air passes out over a camel's mucous membranes it is cooled and the water vapor is removed and reabsorbed into the body. This saves them from losing water with each breath. Camels can withstand a loss of up to 30% of their body weight in water, which is far more than most other mammals could survive. But they cannot go without water forever. When camels can drink, they take in vast amounts of liquid quite quickly, but they don't store it for later, so it's just enough to rehydrate themselves. How do camels walk on sand without sinking? Sand and other soft surfaces can be tricky to walk on. Sinking into the ground means it takes more effort and energy to take each step. Camels can weigh up to 1,000 kilograms, with males often much larger and heavier than females. Rather than small hooves, camels are equipped with wide snowshoe-like feet with two toes. The large size and round shape of their feet help camels to distribute their weight, preventing them from sinking. What do camels eat? Desert environments can offer limited food options for herbivorous camels. Dromedaries and Bactrian camels mostly feed on fiber-rich thorny plants, with access to some shrubs, trees, herbs, and grasses. But camels can happily munch on prickly plants. Their lips and tongues are tough, and they have mouths lined with firm papillae, fleshy protrusions. These help camels manipulate and swallow their food, but also prevent it from scraping, poking, or otherwise injuring their mouths. When a camel swallows food, it passes into a chamber of their stomach called the rumen, where it begins to ferment and soften with the help of microbes. The animal then regurgitates this material, which is known as cud, and carries on chewing it before it can be swallowed again and properly digested. Though camels ruminate, they don't have the typical four-chambered stomach seen in true ruminants like cows. Instead, 
Camels are sometimes called pseudo-ruminants, 